Hello travelers out there, today in this video I'm just going to be telling you guys out there about what I've got to do on my weekend. I hope you guys have all had a lovely weekend and you're all having a lovely Sunday where on Saturday I was just relaxing, doing a bit of writing off the book and working on my on my phone off my notes on there and it's going really well. Just a bit of music, my younger sister is down for the weekend as she wasn't feeling too good and she was just resting up. She's feeling a lot better now and she's just doing a bit of uni work and my dad had a nap and he'd been sort of stuff around the house. He got up and he took my younger sister to Tesco's and then they got back and I watched Princess in the Front which is one of my favourite Disney films ever and that next year of course Tiger Woods is probably my next favourite and I had some bacon butter for my lunch and my old brother and younger brother had gone off to play rugby and I was just listening to the music my dad had a shower and got ready and went off to do a disco and I didn't I was just watching the newest episode of Charmed and I watched the newest episode of Supernatural as well can't believe it's finishing after season 15 heartbroken but I'm going to watch it from season 1 to 15 once it's finished and yeah I just love that show so much and I watched the movies of Will and Grace and then my younger sister called me down and was like would you like to go out for some food so I was like yeah sure and so I had a quick shower and got changed and my older brother and sister and her boyfriend came from being at the rugby club and my younger brother had come back early and gone off to food with his girlfriend and we went off to go to Mason's to have a car for but unfortunately they stopped doing car by the time we were all ready so we then went off to a different restaurant called The White Horse but unfortunately in the evenings we didn't know this but we now have to book in the evenings but, but luckily for us the people that had booked this big table I cancelled so we got that tip instead and I had the gammon, it was very nice. We were gonna have some puddings but unfortunately the kitchen had shut by the time we finished and we were just having a good chip chat and it was really nice, a really good meal. And so we went off to Tesco's afterwards and I got some cinnamon swirls. They are my tip tonight, I absolutely love cinnamon swirls. Probably shouldn't be eating them because I'm trying to lose weight. I've lost my weight. I used to not be able to really fit into this jumper because not with all these fat I was really, because my dad put it in the tumble dryer and it wasn't supposed to go in the tumble dryer so it kind of shrunk a bit but since I've lost weight it fits me again and it fits comfortably and yeah so I'm really happy about that and also got this adorable sharpener it's a panda sharpener and on the side it says I'm a cute panda I love pandas and I love station me and I have to have to visit because all my siblings are always asking if they could borrow a sharpener from me and the one sharpener that I have in my whole office is this stupid crummy little toilet one that is really crap. So you've got this one and you, you put the pencil and wind it at the back and yeah, so I can't wait to open that and start using that. Especially with my younger sister who just Ah, uh, she's always needed to sharpen pencils, so when she's down, I'll be able to give that to her and, and so she can use that for my office. And yeah, so I really like that. We then brought my younger sister to the pub at the high street and made our way home. And me, my old brother and sister and her boyfriend were watching some TV and listening to some music and watched a bit of Eggman 2 love those films and then my old brother went off on to his Xbox and was just chilling my mum went off the bed and my older sister and her boyfriend stayed for a bit longer and we just had a nice chat and then they went off home and I then went up the end room and had to have one of my tablets for my antibodies to stop by had my operations were getting infected and it's split in two places now not just one two unfortunately that the risk with operations in delicate areas is at the top of my is at the top of my at the bottom of my back, just at the top there, off on my ass. And so 
I've got a special, I had a special job put on it to hopefully help seal it together. And so far, it hasn't been leaking at all, and it seems to be going well. It doesn't really hurt anymore, and it felt a bit irritable, but that's because it's apparently the skin knitting itself back together. TMI, I know you don't want to hear this, but anywho. And on Saturday morning, I forgot to say this, which is very important, my father's friend came over and had some very exciting news for me. Her mate worked at this pub and has told him all about me and how I've got special needs and how I've been struggling to find work. And he said, why don't you just, why don't you let bring Dan down and I'll talk with him. If he seems, and she was picking me up just for saying how nice and friendly I am. And yeah, what, how, why is it whenever people are like, complimenting you and you're there, you will feel really like, like embarrassed and you're like, thanks, this is okay, the stuff. It was just so awkward because she was saying, well, she said all this stuff, it was fake stuff, I was like, oh my god, really? And yeah, so she's going to be hopefully picking me up this Thursday or Friday and we're going to be going and having a meeting with him and I'll just show him what I can do while I'm there and it will be good because I did do work place when I was at college in a restaurant cafe kind of thing in Southmead so I would serve food, preparing food, getting the tables and stuff ready so yeah I think I'd be pretty good at that and yeah she was just so lovely and yeah I've known her for ages because her son was in my younger brother and sister's year and yeah she's so lovely she just lives on the road from us and yeah she then went off and she said if this one doesn't work she's got lots of other jobs obviously just like having my own personal like job centre helper or whatever you call it because she's been really helpful and yeah I'm finally moving in the right direction message my mates and one of them was really supportive and one of them who's like always like nagging me about getting a job was just like oh okay I was like that's all you you could say how about oh for god's sake you can take me and stuff one of my old friends who's been going on about me over the job but she was really supportive of her and yeah I actually saw her at the pub where I was coming back from getting the stuff on taxis which is nice I did find ways for her but she was off to the pub and then I watched Strictly and watched Tyler T with my journal and then my dad got back from being at his disco and packed away and I watched Celebrity X Factor. They were all as bad as I thought and some of the people from Love Island were really good actually. Wax from Love Island, his weapon skills are amazing and I didn't mean Wax from Christmas for them. And yeah, I absolutely loved it. Fast I went through quite a, a bit of the dribble and stuff because I was like, I, I did have time for this. And then I went to bed and my young sister got picked up by my dad and was back from being the pub and I watched the message of Will and Grace and then was bumped and went to sleep. And then it's Sunday now. I got up, went to go have a shower and my youngest sister's gone in the shower even though all my stuff is in there. And she said, I'll only be quick. Whenever she says that, you know she's not going to be quick. And then my older brother then piped in and was like, oh, so you went there in the shower. I was like, yes, I was. My stuff's in there already. I just went to get my Kindle so I could take the music while in the shower. I'm just sticking his all and being an idiot as always. He's so awkward and always has stuff to laugh with. And I just wanted to just yell in his face and just let like, go away. Oh, literally, my brothers just do my head in. They are always winding me up. I wish I ignored them, but it's just so hard because they're just so infuriating. So yeah, I went downstairs and was just tweeting away on my Twitter and my Facebook and Instagram and was just listening to a bit of music. Then I finally got myself in the shower, got changed, and I had some jam taste for my breakfast and a cup of tea. And my younger brother's at work, older brother's on his Xbox, younger sister's just doing some uni work. Dad's out the end room watching one of the rugby games, it's all at the moment. And my mum and younger sister were just in the living room watching Murder Show Out. I watched a bit of that with some, another bit of Murder Show Out. Went in through and did some colour pictures of my touches, and I watched a bit of Nana McPhee early on. Love that film, such a great film. That's always a film that always makes you feel so much better when I feel a bit crummy. And I watched some vlogs and vines and did some illustrations. And I was watching some episodes of Doc 2, Kev's Doctor Hour. Love David Tennant, he's probably my favourite Doctor Who ever. And I think my grandpa's baby coming up because my youngest is 
that's what we do. Um, if you want to come see her, um, my older sister and boyfriend might be coming up for tea as well. Who knows? I'm not quite sure what I'll have for tea because my old brother normally does the roast dinners, but he's not feeling up to it today, so might just have a takeout. Who knows? And yeah, I hope you guys have all had a lovely weekend. All have had a lovely Sunday so far and have a lovely rest of the Sunday and a great week ahead. And I shall see you soon with new vlogs coming very soon. Bye!